on the grey one man the odds on favourite coming up the outside of Mr Mulligan and Tony McCoy they're in the home straight three to jump and it's one man who leaps into the lead for Mr Mulligan rough quest in third place and they've got two more to jump now and it's one man the outside of Mr Mulligan two out here and one man to Mr Mulligan in second rough quest in third Barton Bank and then strong promise but it's bar a fall for one man as he comes down towards the final fence in the Potence King George and it's one man cleared by six lengths this is the last he's over safely and Mr Mulligan falls at the last rough quest through the second place and as he race up towards the line it's one man clear by 12 to 15 lengths and at the line one man is going to take it push down but he wins it one man is the winner rough quest an honorable second to Epitant Racing in second. Dago de Charmille on the inside of Baliandi in third and fourth, and Floressa is outpaced last of the five. They're making the turn in now in the Labrooks Christmas hurdle, and it's last year's runner-up Silver Streak who leads the champion hurdler, and last year's winner Epitant, and Aidan Coleman is now for the first time beginning to urge the champion to close the gap on Silver Streak. Silver Streak still has the lead as they rise at the second from home. Silver Streak by about a length and a half. Epitant, though, now begins to range up, but she's going to have to work if she's going to hold on to her crown. Racing inside the final full and a half, Silver Streak is finding readily for Adam Wedge. They rise at the last. Silver Streak by two lengths. Epitant is in second. They're a long way clear of the rest, and inside the final half, Furlong, the likeable, lovable grey, Silver Streak. This is his day, his big prize. Silver Streak has won the Christmas hurdle. Left clear down the back, leads at the top of the home run from Vanater in second and Forrest Behan now last of the three who remain three out Politolog over that one safely clear five lengths on top to Forrest Behan in second Vanater now back in third running down towards two from the finish and Politolog is now quickly got about eight lengths in front at two out Politolog over nicely clear Battling pair for second now, Forrest B. Han and Vanater. Vanater now a clear second, running down towards the 12th and final fence. And it's Politolog under Sam Twiston Davis. Kept going. He's pushing him into this fence. He's in a bit too close, but he gets away with it. Vanater in second over safely. And then Forrest B. Han and running up towards the line. It's Politolog for three out of three this season. The Holden Gold Cup and the Tingle Creek already. Today, he wins the Unibet Desert Orchid Chase. Pilitolog has beaten Vanater. Here is the trip here, Yahoo in the yellow colours on the right, and they're in line for home, and they've got three to jump. And it's Desert Orchid, who comes down towards this, the third last, comes to it, a good jump. From Bob, there's no the game. And North is pulled in Yahoo, looking one pace now, as they come down towards the second last. And Desert Orchid comes to it, and he beats it well. Three, four, five, 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 five,